Welcome back, Geminis, to your extended Oracle of Love for Singles reading. What this person's previous relationship was like. Their past. So I'm going to lay out five cards and we're going to have a look into this person's past. I think it's a strong air sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But you've had air signs come up for quite some time. So their past, what was their past relationship like? Okay, their past relationship, Ace of Cups. So they were very emotionally attached to the last person they were seeing, they were dating, they were in a relationship with. There is a chalice here with the dove, what does look like the Eucharist, um, the communion. So they might have even been married to this person or seriously contemplating marriage or um, engaged with the Ace of Cups here. So they're very, they were very much in love. The Ace of Cups is a very strong emotional bond. So maybe that's why they're carrying a bit of um, that possessiveness or protectiveness because they've been quite hurt. Um, so you may find out about this. As I said, they could be harboring secrets. And I think you'll find out eventually that they were you know, ready to, to wed someone with the Ace of Cups. It could be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio that they had dated um, and they were very much in love. Okay, the Hierophant, this is the traditional marriage card. So as I said, it's someone that they were wanting to wed or, or did wed or perhaps they started planning. Perhaps they started making these plans because they knew this was, they thought this was the person that they would spend their rest of their life with. The Hierophant is seen as the marriage card. It is seen as um, a priest, a Catholic priest. A lot of people saw them together and a lot of people thought a certain way about them. A lot of people thought on the outside they did look quite happy, but they weren't. They obviously weren't. But I have a feeling it's a strong earth sign that's coming in. There's a Taurus here and a water sign. But they genuinely thought that this, this was it. And they're wanting marriage. They're wanting commitment. So with the Hierophant, he does have a lot of people, well, he, she, let's go by whichever energy you, you know you need to that's appropriate for this reading for you. But the Hierophant is someone that is very revered. I think they still have a lot of respect for this person, despite it not having worked out and not having led to marriage I think they still have a hold a lot of respect and this says a lot about this person's character actually the fact that they still hold this person in high regard um, the hierophant can reflect someone that's in the public eye someone that is um, viewed someone that is watched so there could be that this person still looks at um, their ex's social media or you might find that they have logged in and searched for their ex on social media or they see them quite often. So I'm not sure if they still live around the same area, in the same neighborhood, in the same town, work with each other. But there's they see them quite frequently though. Um, quite often is what I am getting here with the Hierophant. This is their past, which is a good sign that they're wanting commitment. It may scare you away a little bit, actually, Gemini. <gasps> Just a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's going to take them time. I feel like they need to... Okay, so the four of ones have come up. Um, okay, so, again, strong marriage here. All these three cards represent very strong marriage cards. They might have been with someone who was married before or someone who is married now, but there's strong marriage around this person that's coming in for you. So they're definitely wanting marriage. I feel like they're quite social. Um, they see their ex through social events, possibly. Um, again, we see the Four of Wands. It is a card of celebration. It could have been that this relationship was more for show than for anything else whether it was because their family put pressure on them and they had to look like they were taken, they had to look like they were 
um, leading up to marriage. They had to um, perhaps convince people of something with their past relationship with the Four of Wands here. Um, it was quite an, um, an eventful relationship. There was a lot of adventure. Um, this, this person they were dating was quite social with the Four of Wands. And they could have been a fire sign. The celebration, they celebrated this, something about a celebration. They could have ended the relationship just after they celebrated the birthday, an anniversary, an engagement. Um, and they might open up to you and tell you this as well. Once you get this relationship going. Um, what else about their past relationship? Okay, foolish behavior with the full card here. They did want a new beginning. They were on the edge of a breakthrough, but I think they were doomed. It just, it wasn't going to work with the full card here. Strong Aries coming in with the full card and the four of wands. It can be new beginnings, but with, I almost feel like they took a chance on this person. Because with the full card here, I, I feel like they were blissfully unaware of what was ahead for them with this relationship and they surrendered. So there was foolish behavior going on. They were made a fool. It, something embarrassing happened around the relationship or the ending of the relationship that has made them feel somewhat foolish. But they've surrendered. It could have been a mutual breakup. Or maybe they finally submitted and said, I'm going to align myself spiritually and not, not put myself in that position because I deserve marriage and this is what I want and it's fallen apart. They could have been cheated on as well though. As I said, there is pain with the full card. Um, maybe someone was insincere. Maybe someone played them for a fool. They could have packed up and left. We see the full card here. He's got his backpack um, and he's, he's on his way. He's leaving things behind. I think they're ready for new beginnings, definitely. But I think they're still healing. The Ace of Cups is water. It's healing. They're still healing over this person. And they're very self-critical um, about how, how it ended and what happened. Okay, the Six of Wands. I feel like they made their relationship quite public to other people. This could be where the foolish behavior comes in. The Six of Wands is someone who's seen quite well, um, someone in the spotlight. I feel like there was a lot of pressure. There was um, a lot of people getting involved in this relationship around them, whether it be family, family friends, whether it be colleagues. Um, maybe they work together because the six of ones could be a work card. Um, they might see each other at work still, but the six of ones is a lot of people had put a lot of pressure and it was just, it, I think it just got to a point where it was too much for them and they couldn't move past it. They couldn't make it be what people saw in social media on what the family thought they were like. It was just, it was a somewhat facade. It's almost like it was foolish behavior. They were fooling themselves because it wouldn't eventuate into anything else. And um, if it was a fire sign, I feel like this fire sign concentrated, wasn't ready for the marriage and wanted to either travel or work on their career or still live a quite a social and parting lifestyle. And it just wasn't compatible with what this person was wanting. And hence, you know, they broke up. It didn't work. Uh, now, potentially, if you couple up with this person, let's have a look and see how your relationship will be with them. Um, on the left-hand side, I want to do how you'll feel about them. And on the right-hand side, um, how they'll feel about you. So how will the relationship be when you come together? 
Okay, you've had a card fall out. Ace of Wands. This is actually a really beautiful card. It doesn't pop out too often um, in this deck. But the Ace of Wands is a strong card. It's the Sky God Horus. It talks about new opportunity. This is a divine. This is a, a deity here. Action, new opportunity, flight and freedom. Wow. So you're going to feel like this person is divinely orchestrated and has... has um, come into your life and you feel a sense of liberation around this person brand new opportunity and you know in the right awake deck we see the what do we see we see the oh, I've had a mind blank we see the hand of God holding the, you know holding the wand holding the rod um, so strongly but here we have the beautiful ace of wands this is also, there's divine connection. This is the universe that has orchestrated this for you. And I think you feel quite, I think you're still getting a lot of freedom with this person, despite their possessiveness or protectiveness. Um, I think because the bird is one of flight, it's it's a very delicate creature. So it could be that the, the, the relationship is delicate at first, is quite tender and delicate at first, but you definitely... Um, you definitely see a sense of freedom and you feel liberated to be with this person. You feel liberated in the relationship. You feel high, happy. This is really beautiful. Okay, the lover's card. It's almost like Cupid. You'll feel, you know, look at you. We see Cupid up the top here. Regardless if you're a male or a female, you feel like you are placed, you are prioritized and you are placed above all, all others. And it's almost like Cupid is showing you that this person is supposed to be with you. This person is supposed to be in your path for one reason or another. You might have someone around you around this time when this person comes in, Gemini, because there's three people in these cards here. So there could potentially be this other person coming in, but you'll choose them and you'll know in your heart, in your mind, in your higher self that you want to be with this person. The universe will be almost, you know, they couldn't make it more obvious. They have this bow and arrow here, but there'll be signs and you'll just feel like this is a very long commitment coming in. Could potentially lead to marriage. You'll definitely see them as someone you can fall in love with. Someone that you could spend potentially a, a long time with. With the lover's card here. There's If there's a third party situation, it's around you. So it's someone else that's coming in around you wanting to pursue you not them so the four of pentacles the four of pentacles in this deck it talks about um, fairness equality division of goods um, it could be that you move in together that it's a very fair relationship it's a very practical relationship and this is what you like to see gems you, you like this practicality and you like someone who is sensible and responsible, but at the same time, um, you do want someone who is similar to you, but you complement each other in a really, really good way here. It's dispersal. Fairness, equality, a very balanced, harmonious relationship. This is how you'll see it. And you'll see it in the physical. You'll feel it. You'll see it. You'll receive it. Wow. I think your relationship will be quite fair. Um, very love-filled. A lot of passion and sexuality. We have the bird and the lovers here. Definitely. And them. Okay, four of chalices. They sense your duality. They sense there's another side to you. The four of chalices is representative of the, um, the two ladies of Upper and Lower Egypt. Well, she, the bird represents two ladies of Upper and Lower Egypt. So seeing a different side to someone. So they're constantly going to be illuminated by you, your personality, your duality. And this, this, this is you. There could be times where they're a little bit unsure. There could be a bit of shake-ups. 
again, the bird liberation, freedom, but um, emotionally they'll see another side of um, another side of you. They might not like it. The four of chalices is can be bad luck. It can be just a bad period. It can be obstacles. So they might not like that. They might not like your lack of commitment. Maybe the fact that you might want to be too free. So the relationship could um, could struggle a little bit there. There could be obstacles. There could be these times where you're really, where they're really unsure about where you stand. And it's all about emotional security for them. Okay, you have the Knight of Chalices. Again, water, a lot of emotion here. This person is quite emotionally invested um, with the Knight of Chalices here. The Knight of Chalices is an offer of emotion. It's a gift. It's a close friend. It's a lover. Um, they'll fall in love with you, Gemini. I feel there'll be a stronger attachment from them than from you to them. But again, this could change. Certainly it could shift, but it definitely in the beginning. They're wanting to make you this offer. They, they, they wear their heart on their sleeve. And they'll tell you how they, what they've been through, what they've seen, what they've done. And they want, they want you to console them. But they will provide you a lot of affection. I think they'll be honest with their emotions. They'll be quite open. And I think this you'll appreciate. Okay. The Knave of Wands. Knave of Wands speaks about sexuality, cordiality, action, adventure, intensity. There could be a certain intensity about them. This has come up a few times. I think this is how, this is their nature. This is their personality. They could be an earth sign. They could be a fire sign. Regardless, they're driven by lust, by passion. There is a certain intensity. Um, now, this could be sexual intensity. But there's the need for adventure. There's the need to have this constant connection with each other. And they can be quite demanding. So I would advise if this person does come into your life, um, as a Gemini, as a Gemini son, this can be overwhelming, but yet it can be, you can feed off each other in a very amazing way. And whichever way it is, emotionally, mentally, physically, sexually, they will provide you with that adventure that you so crave, but it can be overbearing at times. So this is when maybe you need to step back and have your own time together because there'll, there'll have to be this balance. But if we look in the middle here, we have the Hierophant. This relationship could lead to marriage, could lead to engagement, long-term commitment, stability. If this is what you have been waiting for, I love that it sort of opens it up, you know, for the Hierophant here. Absolutely beautiful. So for those that were interested in a private Oracle of Love reading, uh, please feel free to email me. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning into your extended read.